What is up guys, it's Mikey John Mamo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 1 3 of the 3 playthrough The Path of Belear. So uh, in this particular episode I am gonna get one, the focus book, the book on how to charge a focus stone. I will deliver the minecraft egg eggs you need to, to deliver about three of them the rest you know you can basically sell because they're pretty useless and uh i'm gonna try to get all of the focus stones in this particular area but first and foremost it's time to show you guys how to uh, both join the fire mages as well as the guards it's not really that hard to do but um not many people know about it and those that do you know do already know that and you can find it all over google of course <laughs> however keep in mind that if i will do a hardcore run that this is not allowed you know the uh, joining of uh, both sides and if you pick the wrong path in my hardcore run, I will find myself a nice moment to suicide. Just uh, to uh, fuck things up. Because within the entire series, there is only one path, at least for me, that makes the most sense of all on why he became a mad king and how did he became a mad king from which decisions and if you guys pick the wrong the wrong camp so let's say the original path is uh, the old camp or the new camp or the sect camp i'm not gonna say which one it really is but let's say it's the new camp or you know yeah let's, let's just say it's the new camp you know the new camp is the original path if you guys then pick the uh, water, um, the water, the um, sect camp. I will find myself a, a good moment where it's gonna be obvious where I'm gonna beat the game, basically, you know. And I find a good moment to suicide so that you guys will be like, you know, what the fuck. But then, in the second attempt of the hardcore run that pacific path has been locked because it has been confirmed that it is not the correct path to take so it's up to you guys to decide for me in the hardcore run what the correct path is going to be what is it going to be you know what is uh, going to be the correct path and even though he will represent all three gods technically speaking it does not mean that he serves a certain gods in each playthrough in each different gothic game. So let's say, you know, in 1 he serves Belliar, in 2 he serves Enos, and in 3 he serves Adenos. And that's entirely for you guys to figure out. Because there is one path, one side that it actually makes the most sense on why he became the path of the second game. Which will make then make sense on why which path he took in the third playthrough. This these playthroughs, you know, these three individual playthroughs are just individual looks upon the gods. He starts, you know, the Templar starts as serving Baliar, but in the end he turns back to Enos because he noticed that, you know, he, he first he worshipped the sleeper and then he broke free from its chains and uh, defeated the sleeper. And, you know, thought to himself, I must be chosen by Enos. And then he devoted his career to the call of Enos. This guy is going to devote his power to Balear, but not for the reasons that you might think. You know, Same with Adenos, same with Enos, all of three. But uh, let's see. The fuck? Show me your goods. Let's see if this guy has something to sell. So, but basically if you guys pick the wrong path in my hardcore runs I'll basically suicide and um, you know then you guys have to repick a different camp 
to see how long it will take for you guys to actually find the correct path. Oh, cack. Which, you know, can be different for each person that played the gothic game. But um, as soon as you pick the correct path and I will go to the ending and beat the game, I'll explain why I think, you know, it is, in my opinion, the correct path. The, you know, the opinions of people can always be different. And it's not that I'm saying that it, my way is the only way, you know. Which is not the case. However, with the, the current knowledge that I have about the game, there are certain things in the game that makes the most sense on whether it comes to particular parts um, and particular builds etc that would later confiscate as a you know wanderer because it, it, as a chosen one as the hardcore run I'm gonna be full build in everything so that means I must become circle six clue you know and uh, it must mean that I must represent Enos, Adonos, and Belial in one, one-handed, two-handed maxed, bow, crossbow maxed, strength as high as possible, dexterity as high as possible. Same in Gothic 3. It's gonna be insane. So let's report in. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Thoris wants to see you. What does he want? I'm sure he'll tell you soon enough. For Gomez! For Gomez. What do you do all day? I make sure no one gets in if Gomez don't want them to. So don't make trouble when you're inside or you won't be going nowhere. Relax, man. Alright, so let me get, let me show you guys how to become a god and a mage in one since Thoris is not here yet <laughs> the first thing that you have to do is talk with Thoris so that you activate the become a god um, you know capabilities because due to the fact you have to also have to first talk with Gorn about joining the fire magicians so let's talk with our good pal Raven reporting we have to watch. I, or even bugger. Hello? H hello? I, I just thought I'd report in. Issue, Good. I like being kept up to date. They now want a Minecrawler Queen's eggs, people, so they can brew a potion that will enable them to contact the sleeper. I have the eggs with me. Very interesting. I wonder if it will work. Bring the eggs to the temple. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright, so let's, let's see if I can find Thoris. He must be around here somewhere. For Gomez! For Gomez. I've done it. At last I belong to the camp. Congratulations, kid. You'd better stick close to Diego from now on. Only go to Gomez or Raven if you have something really important to say. You have something to tell me? Yes. What you did in the mine not only shows some courage, but it also proves your strength and your fighting skills. I'm ready to accept you into the ranks of the guards. I'm giving you a chance. What do you say? Now, if you want to join both, first say I'm interested in the path of magic. I'm interested in the path of magic. Well, in that case, maybe you should talk to Caristo. He taught Milton. I'm sure there's nothing to stop you. And keep that option open. Because uh, now comes the trick. We're gonna talk with Milton. And uh, uh. I have to make sure that Cristo is gonna yeah, to yeah, uh, train me in the circles of Maho. Greetings. Tell me, what is it like to be a magician? We are magicians of fire. We are the servants of Enos, the highest of all gods. Our magic is a gift from the gods. We've been chosen to act as priests, tutors, 
and judges. It's a gift which is a constant burden to us, a task which determines our lives. I'd like to enter the magic circle. So you want to become a magician of the circle of fire? Hmm. Many have wanted to join us, but throughout the years I've only taken one as my apprentice. All the others have failed. Your spirit is mature and ready to join us. If you want to become a magician, I must test you first. Let me know when you're ready for the test. Now, answer these questions correctly and you will be able to join the fire magicians. I'm up for it. Just test me. Good. You have served the Brotherhood in the Swamp. Have you not? Yes. Hmm. What is the name of our god? Yanos. Hmm. Which is the highest virtue of all? Awe of the gods. Hmm. You have replied well and rightly. I shall teach you the art of magic. Follow me to the Hall of Magic, where you will take the ancient vow. I know. We have heard what you achieved in the old mine. Without the mine crawlers, ore mining has become much safer. Karistro knows of your achievements, too. He wishes to speak to you. Go to him. Tell me something about the magicians of fire. The circle of fire takes its powers from the grace of Innos. The god of light, truth, and justice watches over us. The magicians consider themselves to be the chosen ones, and that's how they treat others. I was lucky to be admitted. Caristo made me his apprentice. He probably just wanted some entertainment. Since then, I've been trying to improve my magic skills every day in order to be admitted to the next circle. I want to become a magician's apprentice too, just like you. Caristo chose me because I did something special for the Ore Barons. Unless you do something truly exceptional, he will never consider you for apprenticeship. Besides, you must belong to the old camp. I doubt if Caristo would take a member of any other camp for his apprentice. See you later. Now, before you're gonna take the vows of the fire magician, join the guards. This is really, you know, the only thing that you have to do. Before you're gonna join Thoris, you have to go to Caristo, and before you're gonna join Caristo, you have to <clears throat> become a guard, which is a bit confusing, but once you know the trick, it's easy peasy. For Gomez! For Gomez. I want to become a guard. I'm glad to hear it. But first I must tell you something that I tell all new recruits. Listen carefully. I shall say this only once. So far, you've tried to get by on your own. Those days are over now. My boys stick together. We guards protect the ore barons, the ore, the camp, and the mine. The diggers collect the ore, but we make sure that they don't get eaten by crawlers. The ore barons negotiate with the king, but we're the ones that protect them. Day and night, we're in the mine. Day and night, we stand at the gates of the camp and make sure folks get to sleep peacefully. We were a wild bunch when we started out here, but now we're a force to be reckoned with. We've all worked hard to build up this life for ourselves. I only expect one thing from my boys, that they stick together. Only by standing together will we be able to hold on to what we have and to survive. You'll learn everything else in due course. Be ready and help out wherever help is needed or something needs to be done. Go and ask Stone to give you some armor and a sword. You'll find Stone in the blacksmith shop in the inner ring. Oh, one more thing. Welcome to the guards. I hear you're one of us now. Not bad for someone who's not been here long. Good thing you say that. Let me currently check the in-game day. So two more in-game days and uh, the supposed event should be about to happen. You've made the right choice. You'll enjoy being a guard. I'm sure that I will. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Because most people think that you cannot join Gomez's guards. Technically speaking, you cannot, but you can get... Hey, you've made it pretty far, considering you ain't been here long. Stop interrupting me, man. Seriously. 
But uh, since I'm gonna, you know, what, what, what most people don't know is that if you do not switch sides as soon as you're gonna go to the free mine or at that point the not so free mine, um, a jackal instead of attacking you, he will send you back to the old camp with a ladder, which will get you access back to the old camp. And that will give, as far as I know, a couple of other quests when it comes to Gomez. I could do with a few things. I could sell you a few things. His battle swords are still crappy. For Gomez. For Gomez. I need armor. So, Thoris has accepted you, huh? Congratulations. Another one eager to stick his neck out for Gomez. Oh well, what do I care? Here, take this armor and sword. Welcome to the guards. For Gomez. I need better armor. You can have it when you're ready for it, and only if you have enough ore. I've changed my mind. Do it. I'll see ya. Alright, so I got the light version. For Gomez. I need better. You can have it. I want a normal guard's armor. Thoris says you have to make your way as a guard. I'll see okay, ya. Okay, okay. Alright, so now let's join the fire magician. We are gathered here today to ordain a servant of fire. Now take the oath of fire. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the force of the holy fire. I swear by the force of the holy fire. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the flame. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the flame. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar, and the fire of my life be extinguished. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar, and the fire of my life be extinguished. By uttering the words of the oath, you have now entered into a bond with the fire, where this robe is a sign of the eternal bond. Take this rune, the gift of Inaz. May it protect you on your path. For each of the circles, there is a book explaining its magic. Study these books. Knowledge is power. Take the book of the first circle and learn to understand the fire. I have more cynical minds. May the fire always protect you. Step aside. For the honor of magic. For the honor of Maho. Please explain the meaning of the magic circles. Of course. The circles symbolize your share of the magic. They stand for knowledge, skill, and the learning of new magic spells. You must pass through each circle before you can join the next. Many hours of learning are required, and you'll need much experience to reach the higher circles. But your efforts to reach them will be rewarded with new and powerful spells each time. However, the circles of magic are more than that. They are part of your life. They will always be with you. Make them part of you. To understand their might, you need to recognize your own. I am ready to enter the first circle. To enter the first of the magic circles means learning to use magic runes. Each rune contains the structure of a special magic spell. By using your own magic powers, you'll be able to cast the magic of the rune. But in contrast to the magic scrolls, which are magic formulas as well, the magic power of the rune ensures that the structure of the spell endures. Every rune is a source of magic power, which you can fall back on any time. Your own magic power is used up when you use a rune, just as with a spell scroll. With every circle you enter, you learn to use further runes as well. Use the power of the runes to recognize yourself. I am ready to enter the cell. I can't teach you anything. Master? I'd like to wear the high robe of fire. You are not ready yet. Come back when you've learned more. 
For the honor of magic. Stop aside. Now the reason why I won't wear the robe of the fire magician is one. I only joined the fire magician for the purpose of becoming a necromancer late game and two, you know, it is worse than my armor, so and this guy's actually not the representative for Enos, you know. I also will sell this spell rune. Don't need it because uh, it's Enos Maho and I cannot use rune magic of Enos. For the honor of magic! For the honor of Maho. Must be so I thought For the honor of magic. I need more magic power. I can help you to increase your power. What use you make of it is up to you. No, I don't want to. I want to acquire magic writings. The reason why I'm getting this, these books is so that I can explain you guys which runes I get as well as, a, you know, visualize for myself which runes I have to get. Um, healing is neutral, so I'm gonna get it, even though in Gothic 3 healing is for Enos only. In Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 I see that's neutral because it's the only way of all characters, you know, using Maho mana to uh, regenerate itself. I'm not gonna put any of these because uh, th those are Enos magic. I'm gonna do that. Fire is Enos. This guy is gonna be Belliar. By any chance? No? Well that's a shame. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Ice bolt, Adenos, light, Enos, fire bolt, Adenos. So first circle is for my character useless. Second circle. Uh, healing. Oh the healing it says. Which is for now neutral except for in Gothic 3, but that's because you know in Gothic 3 you have the capability of regeneration. Fireball is Enos, Ice Blocks, Adenos, Ball Lightning is a Beliar, so that's Circle 3, where I will be able to use a magic. Magic Teleportation, Storm of Fire is Enos, Chain Lightning is Beliar, Death to the Undead is Enos, because you know, it wouldn't make sense if uh, you as a necromancer would be able to destroy your own undead, you know. So, death to the undead I give to Enos. Um, so only chain lighting, so that's two. Two runes so far. Rain of fire is Enos, wave of ice is Adonos. Breath of Death is Beliar, and Ring of Death is Beliar. 
but uh, Ring of Death is from the uh, gem of Eurythio, which is Circle 6, and uh, Breath of Death is also what this guy will learn. So technically speaking, this guy will only have four runes in this particular playthrough. Um, now let's see if Gomez, well, Not Gomez, if uh, Gorn still... Not Gorn, Diego, nah, goddammit. Boris still uh, thinks I'm gone. Hello! I wouldn't like to be I keep it to yourself. Uh, People don't need to know. Uh, I'm still a god, aren't I? Because if I am not, then it was kind of pointless to join both, you know. So let's see. Uh, check it stone real fast. Hello. I need better. You can have it when you're ready for. I've changed I my do it. I can't put I'll see ya. So I guess it's, it did work, so that's good. You know, that just making doubly sure. Triply sure, quadri sure. The more sure you get, the better. Alright, so let's go to the sect camp and get those quests done. Also, I'm also gonna instantly get the. Um, or shall I do it the legally way? Mm, I could get the focus book, you know, before going to the camp, the second camp, but uh, I will do it afterwards. Hello. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. Ten learning points. I need fifteen for the second circle, and I will be capable of using rune magic at the third circle. So up till the point where I'm able to get the third rune, which is um, basically just before the assassination of the fire magicians, um, which is uh, just before he delivered the final focus stone. So before I'm going to join the focus stones, I have to make sure that I have enough learning points to get from circle one all the way to circle four without the problems of having that particular issue later because here's the thing I'm not entirely sure yet that if I do not you know join sides with um, the water mages before retaking the free mine so that I can get a letter to get back into the old mine without bloodshed um, old camp um, I'm not quite sure if you can still join the water mages afterwards. I think you can, but I'm not entirely sure about that one. So, I really hope that that is not the case and that you can actually still, you know, switch sides any time afterwards because otherwise this guy cannot become a servant of Belial. Because I don't think, uh, Satras will train me unless I know, unless I'm an ally, you know, which means I have to join them. But since the one with Gomez thing, the old old camp, is I still haven't been done yet. This guy would be the perfect one to do it. So, whatever gonna happen, um, even if it would. St screw the whole idea up of getting to circle six I will not switch side to at least show it so I will make sure that I make a separate save just before I make that particular decision you know um, a save that I can back up so that if it turns out to be nothing sure I have to redo quite a bit you know but um, at least I can then reload instead of being fucked, you know, because this character at all costs must become Circle 6, because only then will he be able to use the Ring of Death, which will allow this guy to speed grind like a pulse. But you will see that in about a few episodes, I think about 5-6 episodes from now, not entirely sure, could be more, could be less. But uh, 
uh, for now I'm not really really certain but that's fine I'm not listening. so let's deliver these eggs to Port Colom People always talk. That's how it that goes. Happen again. Same old story. Every trouble. Thought that had been. Yeah. Let's get some daily ration. As long as I'm not involved. I've come to collect my daily ration. Here, take it. Three of the Northern Dark. But don't smoke them all at once. Don't worry about seeing. Okay, I'm gonna shell these motherfuckers. Mm, that at some point today, mate. Like. Yeah, you're probably right. What do you want? I have Crawler's mandibles for you. Very good. Take some of my best potions as reward. Those potions better be good, since there are only three of them. I found eggs belonging to a Crawler Queen. I knew it. My vision was a sign. The queen's eggs must contain the strong secretion. Excellent. With it, I can create a potion to contact the sleeper. What about my reward? Oh, right. Thank you. I mean a tangible reward. Okay. Okay. What do you want? Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Mana. May this potion strengthen the magic within you. If you take the rune option, you will get a rune of light, which I took as the servant of Enos. If you take the ore, you get about 50 to 100 ore. If you take a sword, you get a um, stone crusher, I believe. And uh, so in my opinion, you know, the best option that you can take is the mana potion. But that's because in the end, all three playthroughs, you know, all three paths, use magic of some sort. Enos use Enos magic, Adonos use Adonos magic and Baliar use Baliar magic. Whether they will use it a lot or not, you know, depends on the situation, but um, they must at least collect them and learn them. Can we start invoking the sleeper now? No. I haven't found a method to charge the focus yet. We are missing the ancient knowledge about these artifacts. Do you mean to say I collected the eggs for nothing? No, listen to me. There is an almanac which contains what we need to know. We bought the book off the fire mage Caristo from the old camp. However, it was stolen when they tried to bring it here from the old camp. I had charged Talas, a novice, with collecting the book for me. But he was robbed. He let me down. But I've given him another chance. He must get the stolen almanac back. Talk to him. He'll need any help he can get. Where can I find Talus? He's in the forecourt at the Temple Hill, trying to get people to help him. Who stole the almanac? Talas told me he was mugged by black goblins. It sounds strange, but not impossible. What will I get for it? Have I not already proven my generosity to you? you will receive a just reward. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. Let's see if I can get this guy out of his bogginess. May the sleeper awaken. Let's talk about something else instead. I'm not listening to all this blathering anymore. Hang on. We'd like to be in his shoes. Seem to work. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. Same Same old story every time. As long as I'm not involved. Good day to you, sir. You're welcome. 
there was a time when things would have gone very I'm differently. The only thing that I did was uh, getting him in, him out of his uh, death animation. You know, so that I, I just gave him a food, not to go which, all, uh, would, uh, which I always do, you know, when I die and I resurrect myself. People I eat something, talk. otherwise his jaw will be open, you know, which looks a bit weird, especially if the character's talking. But, so I just, you know, took over his body, and uh, that's how powerful this guy is, and uh, just gave him something to eat, to get out of their bugginess. Alright, so let's get this stolen almanac. The one with the black goblins. Or as I like to call them, the annoying gobos. You won, okay? You're Talus, the one who was mugged? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. I can help you to bring the almanac back. Really? I was mugged by goblins, and now I'm supposed to go there and get the book back. I have a suggestion to make. I'll show you the way to the almanac so you can get it back. Give me 50 ore and I'm in. What? That's robbery. All right then. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. We can leave now. Okay. Follow me. That wasn't very clever. Let's talk about something else Maybe. instead. Now this guy is not going to be any useful, so make sure you're well prepared to handle these gobos. Should you not be able to handle them, I will show you a, um, you know, a possible uh, way to get around them quite easily, no matter how weak you are, basically. Um, which is, you know, you, you will stand at some point and you have a water level since the goblins are smaller they can stand in in higher water as you can so they will swim and you just can kill them uh, easily without any kind of damage if you want to see that particularly check out my um i, I think i'm pretty sure i used it with my other Adeno playthrough and i'm pretty sure that i used it with my enos playthrough so if you want to see that specific, you know, that specific spot, I will show you, but I will not make use of it. You know, I will show you in this one um, where this spot exactly is, which shouldn't be that hard to figure out. But um, I will not make use of it because this guy is strong enough to handle all those gobos relatively easy, as long as he, you know, kills them relatively quickly. But uh, that remains to be seen. If I can't handle them, then I will still use the spot, but I doubt that I can't handle them. But this guy is not going to be any useful. He, he will run away at the mere side of a meat bug, literally. Those damn little beasts live in a cave behind this bridge. Be careful! You're not coming with me? I'll wait here and, uh, <clears throat> cover our retreat. Good thing I asked the 50 or Gotta do the whole thing myself. Quite a nice amount of damage, but uh, I'll manage.
But I'm not gonna speak too uh, quickly because there's still quite a few, uh, quite a few of those gobos left, and they are, and they always will be annoying little buggers. <laughs> Almanac book. I'll make sure to read it. We'll give uh, about 75 XP, something like that. At least it gives XP. I'm not entirely sure how much. 50. 50 XP. Wow. Where you come from? Right from the realm of animals. Alright, so let me show you guys the spot, just in case you guys are wondering. It will only take a couple of at least a minute. All you have to do is stand exactly here. And uh, the gobos can literally do you nothing, because they will be swimming while you kick their ass. Easy peasy. No, no, no. Who would have, who would have thought? That little little fellow swim. The current crossbow and the current bow that I have with me, I cannot wear. But uh, I really don't need them. The only reason why I keep them with me, should at least keep one with one of them with me, is due to later in the uh, subterranean temple of the sleeper. So you have see. the almanac. Well done. Let's go back to the camp. Where I need to hit some switches, which cannot be done with uh, magic, nor with telekinesis, 
it can only be done with either a bow or a crossbow which is uh, too bad but uh, it is what it is We're back. You better take the almanac to Cor Cologne right away. Just watch out you don't stress yourself out. Don't worry, I sure won't. There's no need to worry about me. So that 50 ore was a well investment. enough to level up which is good all oh, right after this we get chapter three already and the orca cemetery and the focus stones right nice What do you want? And he's bugged again, so it was useless. I found the book. Good work. You have all we need. I'll complete the preparations now. Where will the invocation take place? Wait till nighttime. Then come to the temple courtyard. We will gather there to invoke the Almighty Sleeper. So it's pointless to give him food to a debug out of it. He will debug right back into it. Alright, so let's sleep till midnight. Invoke the Almighty Sleeper and enter Chapter Three. Now, the reason why I'm skipping it is due to the fact that OBS doesn't always ca catch it, you know. Um, so, the screenshot sometimes reveal an OBS as black screen while it works in-game pretty, pretty good, pretty normal. What do you want? What about my payment? What do you want? Mm, mana potion is mana regeneration, so give me Give one. me ore. This should satisfy your greed for ore. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you.
What happens now? The vision was very vague. It brought us more riddles than answers. But one thing was perfectly clear. I saw an orc in a cave. There is an old abandoned orcish place of worship nearby. The orcs used to bury their dead there. That's why we call this system of caves the Orc Cemetery. The Guru Bal Lakor has gone there with some Templars. Maybe we'll find something there to help us understand the vision. I need somebody to have a look around that place and to report to me about the situation. Why don't you go yourself? You are the leader of the Templars. My task is to protect the Enlightened One. I must stay here with Iberian and guard him. You have done good service for the camp. I trust you more than anybody else here. I'm asking you to go to the Orc Cemetery and report to me what the Templars have found. I'll get on my way right now. Before you go, take this ring. May it protect you in battle. Where is the Orc Cemetery? Not far from here. The novice Talus knows the way. You'll find him in the temple courtyard. He'll guide you there. Will you train me? You want to become a strong warrior. So now you're right. looking for someone to instruct you. Commendable, but I'm not the man you want. I dedicate my time only to those belonging to the Holy Maybe. Circle of Templars. Hey, How can I become a Templar? First, you will have to serve as a novice for a while to prove that you truly believe in the sleeper. Then come back to me, and I will instruct you. Some people never learn. I thought that had been cleared ages ago. Okay, in game day number six. Um, I need that one. So let me quickly. Oh shit. Oh, it doesn't matter. I forgot to resave. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, let me override this one with this one because this is my uh, where my previous episode ended. So I need to keep it as a backup and then I reload this one. I have to redo the uh, thing more, that's fine. Alright, so let's redo this. Remember that the numbers of death behind each chapter is the number of deaths in total. So if he died three times in chapter three, uh, in chapter one, you know, but, but still says three at chapter two, that means he didn't die in chapter two. If its number is higher than chapter one, then he died. Let's redo this quickly and uh, get ourselves to uh, our good friend, the Oak Cemetery. What the? I what? My, I'll get on. Where? No, what you? I, how? But of course, before I will go to the Oak Cemetery, I will first go to uh, the Magicians of Fire. Get myself uh, the better robe. As well as the guard's armor, which is going to be expensive. Kor Angar sent me. He said you should take me to the Orc Cemetery so I can find Bal Lakor and his Templars. So I'm the gopher again. Damn. I just should never have lost that almanac. Well then, come with me. Sorry, I had to grab a torch, my friend. So the next in-game day, the upcoming in-game day, so not the upcoming morning, but the morning after that, or the night after that, the festival of the game begins, officially, because then it's the seventh day of, you know, the month, and then the fourteenth day, 
the 21th day, the 28th a game day, you know, etc. and so forth. Every seven days in game there is supposed to be an event. Now first on that it was connected to particularly events like the Minecrawler eggs, you know, um, which a lot of people s said on the forums and that was the time timing when I got it for the first time. Um, so, you know, I believe that, but that's not the case. But it, there was also rumors that they removed it from the Steam version, so we'll see. One more in-game day. And of course, I make a good do good use of my days, as it should be. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I'm not taking you across this bridge. I don't want to commit suicide. You must be mad to go in there. Even Bao Lukur and his Templars didn't get out again. We'll see what happens. Go back to the camp. I'll be there later. Currently got 30. And since I need to be circle 3, I do need better armor though. I was, you know, like, maybe if I level one more up, then I can instantly learn the second and the third circle and get myself some ball lightning which I can get from uh, I think it was one of the water mages I'm not entirely sure about that one but I do need some better armor otherwise the orcs are gonna be hell and I do have a fireball which is good which I need for one of the war orc warriors to send him back into the realms of Adonis. Shall I get myself first the guard's armor or the robe of the mage? The guard's armor. Since this guy is, you know, figuratively speaking, not representing Enos, but uh, I will take the guard armor first, but I will get it, you know. But the only reason why I join the Fire Magicians is one, to get Circle 6, two, to unify, unif unify God damn it, the Three Circles of Magic, which was how it was used to be. That's why Zardas is well knowledged in Enos, Adonis and, Mat and Baliar, because all three were supposed to be one. All the Fire Mages of Baliar, all the Mages of uh, well, Fire Mage of Enos, Water Mage of Annos, and Black Mage of Baliar were supporting each other, you know. Before they were divided into a Baliar, Enos, and Adonos magic rune capabilities. Alright, so let me talk with Thoris. Get me chef. Oh, wait, that's not Thoris, that's um, Stone. Where does stone sleep? I think here in the barracks. Hands off! Shut up, I'm one of you guys. Red. Hands off! Would you look at that? Totally forgot to consume that one. The 
get me some some more in the pockets. The reason why I'm doing this is because I need lots of ore to purchase the guard armor and the fire mage rope. I can purchase them both, yes please. I need better armor. You can have it when you're ready for it, and only if you have enough ore. I want a nor- All right. Here's your new guard's armor. Don't let the mercenaries make too many dents in it. <laughs> I'll see ya. not be able to get the um, you know the all barons armor but I will be able to get Gomez's heavy armor Red. hands off hands off shut up man god damn it what a noob I'm an ally and he's gonna say hands off Look how poor I am instantly am. I am Scar. Hello? Hello. I just thought I'd report in. Good. I like being kept up to date. The great invocation has taken place. You have done well. Th that's it. You have done well. Wow. Why have you... Let's see what kind of junk we can find in here. Any ore is welcome. Right, so that one both are locked, which you need Gomez's key. Same with that one. Okay, so for that I need to kick Gomez's ass. Which will happen at some point. Hello, friend. No trading, no nothing. Hmm? What is it? It went open by itself. Now the real treasure. Let the ore flow.
Now there's literally nothing you can do with the gold. Well, I just collect them. Floor number two. Lots of booty. I like that. I like lots of booty. Lots of booty means lots of money and with lots of money you can do what you want. The world is corrupt. In money you trust my friends. Now, like I said, these gold coins, you know, gives nothing. It's not worth anything. Well, it's funny. This is the final floor because our uh, man, oh man, I started to uh, get annoyed. Well, not really. But it sure is a lot of stuff which is gonna be very hard to sell. Well, not really, but. Oof. And that was nearly death number four. Alright, so let's trade these in, these uh, stuff that I stole, get enough ore, and uh, use that ore to purchase myself the fire robe, if possible that is. And now we're here anyways, let's also talk with Thoris and loot this area. Hello! What's up?
all right this is the guy with the orc slayer it's uh what's his name scar Thirty-three HP, nice. Permanent HP, which is always nice. Not to learn King Soros or learning points into, but it is nice enough to get for free. All right, so let's learn the second circle of a magic. Oh, wait, let me first go to skip. Everything all right with you? Why can't I trade me here? I'm a member of the guard. Where the hell is Skip? Let me pass. <sighs> For the honor of magic. For the honor of Maho. How's venturing in the magic arts? That's none of your business. For the honor. No, that's not very nice, is it? I want to acquire. Wow, well, he doesn't have any ore. All right, Skip, you better be rich, man. You better be rich. Hello, friend. I could do with a few things. I could sell you a few things. Well, that's not gonna help. Not instantly. 46. Mine is equally good. His best wa sword was 46, which about four more damage. Not really Hello, worthy. friend. I I. Just let me double check how much damage. 46. So that's four more damage. Not really that significant for the time being. Currently, first I have to get the robe. Which I want to get before I will enter the next circle, so that I can do that simultaneously. Um, to whom can I sell quite a few stuff? I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, Bob. Fisk. Fisk. Would you look at that, guys? They're here. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. 
So he didn't got removed. I better keep out of it. So at the sixth day they start their preparations, and at the seventh day they are gonna play. But uh, it's in the Steam version, guys. Which is a good thing to know. What's this guy doing? It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. You're very prop. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. People always talk and people never play. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. I better keep out. Hello, friend. Show me your goods. Now, what you look at that, this bugger has a better sword than the guard in, you know, the inner gate. Now, this is a good sword. That won't happen again. I'm not listening to all the blathering you have to watch off your I'm not listening to all that blathering. I'm gonna keep one just in case it's better than mine. Better keep out of it. Let's talk about something else instead. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. Keep it to yourself. People there must be something about that down. story after all. I doubt that's ever likely to change. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Oh, mine is better. Right, so let's get me, let's get me self the armor. I'm not listening to all the blathering anymore. So the rumors that it has been removed in the Steam version of the game is a lie, just like the cake was a lie. Because uh, you can see the band right here. Same old. It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. I'd better keep out of the way. Ah, there's a better night go. It was on the other side of the line, bro. It was my answer. That's the way we got it. People always talk. We thought that would be good at eight months ago. Just quickly frying some meat, you know, so I can uh, I'm well prepared when I go to the Orc Cemetery. This should do for now. And uh, once we come out of the Orcus Cemetery, it's gonna be most likely midnight. Which means I will deliver the um, thing to uh, the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. And uh, they will send us back to the Water Mage, and at that point, I will come to the camp here and enjoy the festival basically. You know, it's not gonna be uh, that long of a festival. But it's, it's, it's a fun easter egg, you know. Well, it's not really an easter egg. But it is a kind of a rare event if you do not know the timing well. And uh, I honestly didn't know that was literally 7 in-game days. I was just thought like, you know, if you come to a certain point, then that many days have passed or something like that. Well, that's not the case. Which good to know, good to know. Even a pro learn new stuff, guys. Now 
No. Guess what I've got, guys. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Can't ha don't have any runes yet anyway, so... Might as well wait with it. I totally forgot to uh, get myself the high fire robe as well as the um the um god damn it the second rune of magic the second circle but uh since I'm already on my way to the orcish camp so, well orcish cemetery I will first uh, complete that area and then come back in the next episode anyways for the festival and I will also pick up the um, a second and the third rune magic, maybe even the fourth, but I doubt it. And um, get me self the high robe of fire. Not that I need it, not that I represent Enos, but uh, just because I joined that particular camp, it is a part of the uh, collectible armor pieces, you know. But I don't think I, I thought I don't think I will have a problem around here. At least not versus the small orcs. Orc warrior maybe. But I've got fireball for that one. I think I will be fine around here. Alright guys, so let's get this over with. I will first do the whole, um, cork, um, what was his name, Balukor thing, etc. before I'm gonna activate these gates over here. Or do those on the way out. <laughs> Uh, some of them contain relatively useful accessories like rings, necklaces. So far, pretty easy.
Thanks for your help. You really arrived in the last moment. Kor Engar sent me. Have you found any sign of the sleeper? Not so far. But what about Iberia? Has he come to yet? No, he's still unconscious. We need to solve the riddle of these caves. After all these dreadful losses, I can't go back to the community empty-handed. But my fighting skills are limited, and the orcs don't react to my magic spells like the gullible people in the old camp do. If our brotherhood sent you, maybe you could help me with the further investigation of this tomb. I came across some dead Templars on the way here. What happened? Master Kor Angar sent us here to investigate the caves. We expected to find nothing but stuffy graves and half-decomposed mummies. Suddenly, the darkness shifted and there were orcs everywhere. I don't know what they're looking for here, but their appearing here is more than unusual. Where are the other Templars? Dead. I unwittingly led them to their destruction. This sleeper will pardon me. I'll help you. Good. Excellent. There are three tunnels leading out of this hall. We should search them all. Go ahead. I'll follow you. can't go on here. Maybe these niches bear hints. I found a piece of parchment. It looks like an orcish spell scroll, but it's been torn in two. There must be another half somewhere. Hey, let's go, Luker. I don't, I don't have all day. His bugginess. What are you looking at? The wall, beautiful wall. NPCs are so dumb. This tunnel leads to a dead end. Maybe you'll find some clues here that'll help us further. There is a torn piece of parchment here. Very good. It's the other half of the Orcus spell scroll. What do we do with the two pieces now? The two halves match, but I can't translate these Orcus signs. I'm gonna try to see if I can handle the Orc Warrior one on one without the need of Fireball. Oh, 
Oh dear. It's again thus far. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he rescued himself. Hang on. This is interest. Well, I can't find anything interesting in this place. Be silent and take a look at the ornamental runes in this cave. Yeah, these should suffice to translate the two halves of the parchment. I have it. It's a teleportation spell. It seems that it can only unfold its powers in a certain place. Strange. All right, so let's see how I will fare. Against a orc warrior. This place has a special aura, the aura of the hidden. This hall reminds me of the image in the vision. The vision? We're very close to our target. Behind this wall. That must be it. My magic powers are still very weak. Use the Orcish teleportation spell here, in front of this wall. You wouldn't say there is a secret here behind here. No, wouldn't say that. Found the hidden place. My instincts have not deceived me. And does the answer to the strange invocation of the sleeper really lie here? It looks more like another burial chamber to me. We need to proceed. Go ahead. I'll follow you. The only thing that you do is following me. You don't have any mana anymore to use the teleport scroll yourself and open a darn winch. Do not do even any damage whatsoever to the orcs. You're one useless bugger. No! This can't be true! There's nothing here but... but dust and... and bones! No! Master! Speak to me! Sleeper! Reveal yourself! No! That was it. Now he's gone completely crazy. This is all your fault. Your unholy presence has enraged the almighty sleeper. Now I shall have to suffer for your sacrilegious behavior. I need to make a sacrifice for the master. A human sacrifice. Then he'll be sure to enlighten me and make me his servant. Die! Infidel! 
Or as one of the sect members would say, prepare to meet your creator. Alright, so let's shut this place. Let's keep it a secret, eh? needs to know about a little how we shall we say incident <laughs> all right so let's quickly get these Secret gates open. Well, they're not really secret spot. Their switches are hidden and are uh, in a certain order, you know. Well, each switch opens a certain gate, you know. And there are about four switches in total. Four or five. I think we're four. Here's number one. Which is on the other side. Most valuable stuff is behind the gates, obviously, you know. But uh, I like to loot stuff. If I can't use it, I can uh, trade it for ore. Done, guys, almost.
Which one opened? Those two are still shot. I think I accidentally went ghost or something. So since that is done, let's see what kind of rings and amulets. Amulet of power. Yes, please. Ring of strength. Yes, please. Better. 69 strength currently. I need about 30 to wield Eurytio, although I will not wield Eurytio, I will destroy Eurytio and get his rune. But yeah, this is uh, the end of the episode, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, and if you do, hit the notification. Thumbs it up if you really liked the video, thumbs it down if you didn't like the video at all, which is possible, you know. And, uh, and feel free to leave both positive or negative feedback behind on my channel, anything that I can use to improve my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna gather the focus stones. And uh, join the third circle at least. The fourth circle will be... A just before the assassination of the fire mage. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode. So good day guys and I'll see you guys next time.